What's up guys, it's JJ here, back with another video. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So, I've just finished filming a little tutorial. It's a gainer tutorial. It'll probably be out by the time this vlog is out, so make sure you go check it out. I'll leave a link to the video either in the cards or in the description, or maybe both. So, the other day, I was meant to be filming a vlog. Well, I had filmed for this vlog, right? And, I was going to go diving, but, basically, when I got to the pool, they told me that the diving pool was closed, and I was like, what the hell, because obviously I looked on the website, and everything was fine, was, everything was sweet, so I was like, oh yes, can't wait to go diving, haven't been diving yet, need to get started. So, yeah, I couldn't go, and that video is going to have to wait for a couple more days, maybe even a week or two, because my weekends are full, and I can't, the days that it's on, I can't really make it to a different pool. That video is going to be really fun when it does come out, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Right now, I'm going to clean up this mess, get rid of these lights, get rid of this thingy, Looks kind of funny, doesn't it, from this angle. Then we're going to be going to the gym later on for a session, and hopefully that's going to be pretty sick. And when we do go to the gym, I'm going to be talking to some other trickers about this idea that I have for a series on YouTube, and see what they think, and then hopefully get them involved at some stage. I might talk to you guys about it later on in the video, or maybe I'll keep it a secret. I don't know. But anyway, let's get rid of all this stuff. It just popped into my head because I was clearing stuff around and I've got some boxes here with some apparel and some mailing type stuff here. But yeah, I just wanted to say that the new Forever Flying wristbands, which are these, they're really cool. They've got the Forever Flying text and they've got cracks in between them that look dope. Um, they're now available on our website. Go check the link in the description. We've got limited stocks, so make sure you go get yours fast. Just realised that I forgot to change my exposure wheel again. Because when I use that white backdrop, I kind of change it a little bit so that it, the white background stays more white and you don't see the, the creases in the backdrop. But I always forget to change it back, so I probably look like a ghost in the past couple of clips, but I'm going to change it now and you'll see the difference, so ready? That should look a lot different. Maybe not a lot different, but I don't look as ghostly. Now I need to eat some food because it's nearly 2 o'clock and I've not had anything except a banana at like, probably like 10, so... I'm pretty hungry. Let's see what's in the cupboard. Brrr. Oh, boom! That's a fake Nutella. Where's the beans? I want some beans. <laughs> oh, I love doing this part. It's quite satisfying. Earlier on I was thinking, right, basically my tripod is, oh, I've pulled the leg off now, but basically the, the third leg, which is this one, right, I can put it in, pops in, works, but it's a lot looser than the rest, like the rest I can just like, they'll stand, but this one is just so loose. And I've read up on it and a lot of the times it happens with these smaller ones. But, I've seen a solution, and I'm going to try that out right now, so, are you ready for this? This genius idea. I don't know if they did it with what I'm going to do it with, but hopefully it'll, same principle will work, right? So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get some sellotape. How much? Let's say that much. Pretty big bit of sellotape. Yeah. I'm going to fold it in half. It'd be better if it was double sided tape, but I don't have that right now. Now, we're going to do this. So, there we have it, some tape around my leg. Looks a little bit dodgy, doesn't it? I'm hoping that now it's just going to go in and it's going to stick a lot better. Let's go, so just push it in. I think it's popped in, oh, I don't really know, to be honest. It does seem a lot stiffer, in fairness, compared to what it was. It's obviously not as lot like this, but it'll have to do. So now I'm going to do a quick stretching session before we go to the gym and then hopefully I'm going to trick well. I don't want to say what I'm going to do just in case it doesn't go to plan but yeah let's just have a little pray. I'll pretend my other hand's here because yeah, there's two hands together. I've started stretching a lot more recently and I find that it helps me a lot obviously physically but even more mentally as well because for years people have been like oh yeah stretch and it helps tricking and stuff and I'd always be like, yeah, yeah, stretch a little bit, but I'd never actually take it seriously. Like, I'd usually just stretch, like, before the session, and that would be it. 
Whereas now I've started doing a lot more at home and mentally I feel like if I stretch already in my head I'm always I'm already like oh I'm gonna trick better or this will help my tricking. Like say if I'm gonna chase like a big move or something like if I'm gonna chase triple cork or something different that I'm trying to do and if I make sure that like the night before I know I'm gonna do it the next day so I'm like I'll stretch the night before, I'll stretch the, in the morning of the next day, I'll stretch like before the session, before I go to the gym like, and then before the session. And while I'm stretching, I'm like mentally preparing myself for the move and it, I find it really helps. It just gets me in that zone to be like, okay, it's gonna happen today type thing. Sometimes obviously it doesn't work out, but mentally I'm like, this is better. Your mental position when chasing big tricks is like really important. So. The fact that it helps means I'm probably gonna be more likely to do it if you get what I mean. Because I'm one of those people that like my mental state really does affect me when I'm tricking. Like if I'm having a bad day or I'm in a mood, I might not always have a bad session, but I'll get a lot more frustrated a lot faster. When I'm having a bad session, I'll just like don't talk to anyone. And people will think that I'm annoyed at them or like when I'm getting angry, I'm like angry at them. But I'm not. I'm just like I get so caught up in my own head regards to the tricks that I'm trying but the fact that I get like that is obviously not good that I get so frustrated with myself but I feel like it gives me a bit more of a drive and then when I do land when I'm trying to land it feels so good like the last vlog that I did with uh, my triple court that feeling that I had when I landed that was crazy I'd say I felt more hype landing that than when I first did it, like it was ridiculous. And then I did it second time, like straight after. It's just nuts. But anyway, if you guys don't stretch at home before your sessions or after your sessions, or just in general, even if you're not tricking on that day, I would definitely recommend start stretching. And you'll see an improvement on your tricks. And if you're like me, you could see an improvement on it on your like mental state, like thinking that you're gonna be better at tricks almost like and your body will feel a lot better, so yeah, moral of the story, do some stretches. Hope you enjoyed those clips, I just got back from the session. It's a bit of a late night, like now it's 20 past 10 and I haven't eaten yet. So I'm quickly just gonna get myself a protein shake just to pray that I'm not dying tomorrow because I tricked for quite a while and failed. Looking back on it, it wasn't a bad session, I guess. Like, I was just playing around at the start with some like, some Cobra type stuff trying to be Omid and did some cheat 12 spins I don't want to say I did a, the T12 kick because it's not really legit kick, but it is the spin, and to be honest, the spin is probably the hardest part. So I did that three times, which is actually pretty good for me because I haven't done that for a long time, and I did it, and I was pretty happy. Then, because my body was feeling pretty good, I decided I needed to go for triple core, even if I was feeling it or not, because I'm too good at being like, oh, I'm not feeling it today, not feeling it today, and I just keep putting it off, so I need to stay on it, so... That's what I had to do tonight, and I knew I didn't feel like I was gonna land it, so I tried to do triple four first just to see could I get my uh, just see could I get used to the spin, 
but my triple four was not working at all. Um, the floor just <laughs> the floor didn't even feel soft. Like, and then um, then I did some TDR uh, like dubs and a half, like you saw them. And then I was like, okay, I'll try the set up. Tried for about 20 minutes, half an hour, um, doing the setup, and for a while the triple court was not good. I was just still tweaking it, and I did get the tech in the end, uh, and I made sure I finished on a good one. I didn't land it. Um, obviously, if I landed it, you would have known about it. But yeah, the closest one I got to, the way I landed, I knew that it's still there. Like I haven't lost it, even though I didn't land it. If that makes sense. Like I know in my head that I could do it if I kept pushing it. It just wasn't going to happen tonight. It's weird. Like I told you earlier, I need to be in the right like mental state, and I had to make sure I finished on a good one so that mentally, next time I go and do it, I haven't lost it. I can still get to the point where I need to be so that I can land it. But yeah, lecture over. Hope you enjoyed this type of like day in the life type video like an everyday sort of vlog i don't usually do it let me know down in the comment section below what you think of it and if you want to see more of them but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you all for watching don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye